about this. We were looking for cheetah, but we found a leopard. Well, Andrew found a leopard for us. Uh, Andrew is the guide from Cheetah Plains, and it's my favorite leopard. Her name is Inkanyeni. Uh, which means marula tree and that's what she's sleeping in and that's how she got her name she is really fond of big marula trees and she looks like she is quite quite full so she's just relaxing in the tree and one of the reasons leopards like to sleep in trees is they're a little bit out of the way of a lot of the biting insects there's a bit of a stronger breeze and the smaller biting insects will battle to fly there hello serenity and serenity would like to know can you find leopards all over africa you can serenity they occur throughout africa um, the only places that you don't really find them is in the, the truest desert, the driest desert, but they occur throughout the savannah regions and in the rainforests. And they are very adaptable cats and can live in a, a whole host of different climates, even very high in the mountains. But their favorite type of climate is savannah bushveld, like we're sitting in now. And in this type of area, you get the biggest leopards. Now Sadie's wondering if this leopard can see in the dark. Well, indeed she can, but when you say see in the dark, they can see about eight to 10 times better than we can in the dark. But uh, there has to be some form of ambient light for her to catch. Now I was just looking around while we were sitting here and one must remember that the safari is not only about the very big things, sometimes it's about the very tiny things. And I've found on a piece of grass next to us, I'm trying to get him to see, see his nose, there we go, um, a little weevil who's eating the grass flowers. Tiny little weevil. Hey little guy. Enjoying uh, some digitaria or finger grass. There we go. I'll put him back on the grass. Now, being on a live safari, you literally never know what's around the next corner. And I said we were looking for elephant and cheetah, and uh, we have come across the exquisite Inkanyeni. So while it's hot, she's going to snooze, and as it gets cooler, she might come down the tree, she might go off hunting. Uh, you never know what's going to happen next. Oh, doesn't she look very comfortable up in that tree? Nice breeze keeping her cool. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, there we go. It seems to be, sorry about that, seems to be a little bit loose connection with my earpiece. Hi Ava. Ava would like to know how long do leopards sleep for in the day? Well, they don't only sleep in the day, they can also sleep at night. On average, they'll sleep for about 18 hours a day. So they are expert nappers. As you can see, even though she is napping, watch her ears. They're always on the move. Well, hello, Rachel and Pam. Rachel and Pam would like to know, how old is this leopard? Well, if I remember correctly, she is 11 years old. And she's got a baby at the moment. Uh, his 
name is Votomi, and he's about 15 months old, so he could be very close around here, or he could be somewhere where she's left him while she's gone off hunting. Naya would like to know how many babies can a leopard have at one time? Well, normally it's one or two babies, sometimes as many as three, but never more than that uh, uh, under normal circumstances. And Naya would also like to know how many babies can they have over their lifetime? Well, they're not. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I swallowed a fly. <coughs> a fly just flew straight into my mouth while I was talking there. Okay, I'm back. So uh, they normally only have their first baby at around three or four years old, and then it's normally caught it every three years from then they can raise. So they can possibly have uh, two, and then, then six, another two, eight, another two, ten, another two. So we're looking maybe eight, eight to eight to maximum uh, twelve babies over their lifetime. But most of their babies uh, will die when they're quite young. Uh, most leopard babies don't reach a year old. So she had two cubs, a female cub and a male cub, and only the male cub survived to be older than a year.